we come back to a brief recap of some top local headlines this morning, starting with the Butte County Board of Supervisors that will vote on whether to adopt an urgency ordinance tomorrow involving the North Complex fire recovery. The Department of Development Services is recommending the adoption of an urgency ordinance that would continue allowing temporary housing with a permit through June 30th next year instead of expiring on December 31st. It would take effect immediately upon a four-fifths approval of the board tomorrow morning. The item is up for discussion at 940 a.m. and meanwhile some residents plan to protest today and tomorrow at 9 a.m. outside the courthouse in Oroville. Israel has declared war after Hamas launched an unprecedented assault Saturday. It started with a barrage of rockets during which officials say dozens of gunmen escaped the blockaded Gaza Strip and opened fire on nearby Israeli towns. It's the deadliest attack on Israel in years with at least 700 dead and 1,000 more injured. In response, Israeli forces have launched a series of counter air raids on the Gaza Strip, killing hundreds there and wounding about 1,600, according to officials. In Tehama County, a driver suffered major injuries in a solo crash after rolling their vehicle on Highway 36 west of Red Bluff early this morning. That's according to the Dibble Creek Volunteer Fire Department that says the highway was temporarily shut down as a helicopter was deployed to transport the patient. The cause of the crash is under investigation. Now Preston is back with the top weather headlines. Yeah, now let's take a look at a very fall Monday out there. Temperatures steady near 60 out at the coast with those rain showers throughout the course of the day. Maybe a sun break into the evening, but for the most part, a showery one on the way. And temperatures near 70 for our inland areas, but mostly in those upper 60s. Garberville might be the only spot to get to 70 out there. Throughout the valley, those low 70s are on tap. We'll have showers this morning and into the early afternoon. Clouds breaking for, again, those sun breaks into the afternoon. So gear up for that out there. If you need time to get outside, it might be a little better later into the day. I'll show you that rain timeline real quick. Pushing through this morning, continuing just about an hour and a half from now. We're seeing most of that activity over Trinity and Siskiyou counties. And as we head throughout the course of the morning and into the afternoon, those showers pop up throughout the valley. Maybe not super intense, but there is rain on the way. And that continues out of the coast throughout the course of the day. We'll dry things overnight before another batch rolls its way in on Tuesday morning. But uh, keep that umbrella and rain jacket at the ready. All right, can't wait. Thank you so much, Preston. Before we go, we're showing our friends at home some love by sharing viewer pictures sent to us on Chime In. Check out this video sent to our, our, us by our viewer, Sean Michael. He decorated his house with a Disney-inspired theme for Halloween. Sean combined the Haunted Mansion and the Pirates of the Caribbean, which are two of his favorite rides at the park. He says these videos don't do it justice to the Disney display. Yeah, pretty cool to see all that. Pirates of the Caribbean might be one of my favorite Disney rides, and this is like really capturing that. So that's very impressive. Uh, first, the Scara Taylor Swift era, and then the Barbie Land Halloween. And now we got Disney here locally. Pretty impressive stuff. Indeed. Thank you so much for showing us something good, Sean. Speaking of good things, we wanted to give a quick shout out to one of our production assistants, Marion. Yesterday was her birthday. We wanted to take a moment to give her a special shout out. Because that's what we do on Daybreak. We show appreciation for our colleagues. We don't have a photo of her, but she's working hard behind the Scenes. Yes, happy birthday, Mary, and we hope that you get out there and make it a great day. You've got a choice. That's right.